Hello and welcome to Habits and Health Span, an Amway podcast. We're so glad that you're joining us on this learning journey. We have some great guests with us today, and we are going to get to them in just a minute. My name is Alyssa, and I'm joined as always by John, my co-host. Hi, John. Hi, Alyssa. Always great to be with you. I agree. So we have done quite a few of these, and we have learned a lot of information. Mm-hmm. I want to do a quick gut check with you. Where are you at with your health span journey with everything we've learned? Okay. You don't want the nitty gritty of my gut, though, do you? Because we've <laughs> talked about that. We have talked about gut okay, health. Not today. No. I, um, I've really been enjoying taking some of those little things that we've hit at the end of the podcast and implementing them. I can't do all of them. I can't always digest everything that I'm learning, right? Because it is so much. But I can, like on days that I can't exercise, I will go for a walk and it feels good. Or I'm like, I'm eating breakfast first thing in the morning because I learned how important morning nutrition is. Probably the best part is each time I do something small like that, I just feel good about it because I've learned about how important it is. Yes. Yeah, so we, we, I know my friends will approve of this. Yeah. Yeah, well, exactly. Well, how about you? I feel like I'm walking around with all of the collected wisdom of all of our teachers, guests, friends on this podcast. You remember I even texted you and some of our guests <laughs> when I went to the gym saying, hey, I keep my promises. I'm yes. stretching before I work out like I said I With a picture of the would. gym, yep. Yeah, because yep. whenever I'm tempted to maybe fall back into some old habits, I, I think of all the really wise people that have taught us a little bit better. And it makes it that much easier to know why it's so helpful. So I definitely see a change in my health span journey. That's so great. Good for you. Thank you. Well, there is always more to learn. Mm -hmm. And today we are talking about a topic that really applies to a lot of other topics that we've learned about throughout this journey, which is clean drinking water. Mm -hmm. I'm guzzling it down when I'm at the gym. And we need it for absolutely every, so I can't wait to learn more about it. Yes, clean water, healthy home, those are our topics today. And as we mentioned, we have incredible guests who are here to help us learn right along with you. We have Jeff Shoemate here today. He's the Manager of Product Development at Amway Research and Development. Jeff, welcome. Thank you. Glad to be here. Tell us a little bit more about your background at Amway. So I've been at Amway for 15 years. Uh, For most of that time, I was an engineer supporting the product design of our water treatment systems. And then for the last few years, I've actually been the manager of the design team that designs the technology that we put into those systems. Wow. I love it. Welcome. Excited to learn from you. Great to have you here, Jeff. And joining Jeff today is Rick Andrew. Rick is a retired NSF director of business development for the water systems division. Rick, NSF, can you fill us in on what that company is and then tell us a little bit about your work there? Absolutely. So NSF is the world's leading and largest testing and certification body and standards development body for water treatment products. And during my almost 25 years with NSF, I worked on development of standards for water filtration products, as well as testing and certification of those products. Oh, amazing. One thing I would love to know, when you are testing the water, when it's going through a water filtration system, what, does, what needs to happen to get that, N- that NSF certification, tests, evaluations, that kind of thing? Yeah, John, it's a lot. Uh, It is not a simple process. Uh, Complete documentation on the product has to be submitted. And then extensive testing occurs to make sure the product is safe when it's touching the drinking water, to make sure it really works when it's reducing those contaminants. You know, the, the water looks clear when it goes in. It looks clear when it comes out. You really have to test it in a very... Uh, intense laboratory environment to know for sure that that thing is working. And that's all part of the water treatment uh, certification process at NSF. At Amway, when we do design for our new systems, we do internal testing to make sure that the, the product that we're going to submit to NSF, we have confidence going to NSF that we're going to have the performance we need, that when we go to them, we have everything in order. I'm so excited to learn more about this. Um, My kids called last year for our family the year of the water because we had to replace our well and our water softener. So uh, we went without water for 18 days. We survived. We lived to tell the tale. So why is water quality such a critical factor in our health span? Because I, you know, I just lived having people come over and make sure that everything was Mm. was going to be okay for us to drink. Sure. Uh, So we know with health span. Hydration is key. Mm -hmm. Now, hydration, you're drinking water, but what's in that water? Now, that water, most water sources also have beneficial minerals in them. 
some of our income in calcium and magnesium comes from the water we're drinking on a regular basis too. Got it. So we want to keep the good things in there, but get rid of the bad thing. Ideally, yes. Got it. Amazing. And Rick, anything you'd like to add? Yeah, I think, you know, Jeff makes a great point when he talks about hydration contributing to our health span positively. You know, National Institute of Health two years ago published a study that talked about just this, how adequate hydration can really help lengthen our health span and keep us healthier as we get older. So much to unpack there. Let's start with the contaminants. I don't want this to all be doom, gloom, scared, but I'd like to know a little bit more, what are some of the common concerns about drinking water and how those contaminants can impact our health span? Yeah, contaminants are something to really keep in mind because they can enter the drinking water in a number of different ways. They can come in from the source water. They can be uh, coming from the pipes that the water is going through as it comes to our house. They can even come from the plumbing inside of our house. So they can be threatening us in a number of different ways. One of the big ones that I think about is lead. I'm sure we're all familiar with that. That can come from the pipes in the distribution system or from the plumbing in our house. So John, you use the word contaminants in kind of a scary way. And while that may be true for some, contaminants also can mean taste and odor, um, which don't affect your health. But if I'm gonna go get a glass of water and drink from my sink and it smells funny or it tastes funny, I'm not going to drink as much. I'm not going to feel like I'm really hydrating as much. And that will negatively impact your health span over time because you're not hydrating properly. And that's only because it's unappealing. I've been hearing these things about forever chemicals like PFAS. How does that play into all of this? Certainly PFAS is something to think about because they really don't break down environmentally or in our bodies. So if we're getting them in our drinking water, they're not going to go away in the water and they're going to accumulate in our bodies, which can over time add up to some health concerns. How did these things get in our water in the first place? When it comes to something like PFAS, they were used industrially over a period of years. And those industrial processes led to them being uh, distributed into the ground and then into the ground water and then into rivers and streams. And they're coming in possibly even through our own municipal water treatment plant right into the water flowing into our houses. And is this something that we've just discovered? Um, I, I know certainly it's been, you know, m more current, um, even, you know, my home where we live, we've, we've had testings for the last few years, right? Or has it always been there and we just didn't even know it? That's a really great point. We're learning more and more because our ability to find these chemicals in drinking water keeps getting better and better with newer techniques, although the chemicals have actually been there for many years. I like what you just said there, Rick, about there's something that we as a society are doing about this, because I was starting to feel a little bit of, oh no, a little doom and gloom. So I'm just curious, what is it you'd want people to know as we're sort of just having this conversation right now about the contaminants? I'm looking at our notes. We have so much more amazing stuff to talk about, but what would you want people to be thinking as we're talking about specifically these contaminants? When it comes to these contaminants, there are good news for us in that we can treat them with water treatment systems in our homes. These systems are on the market right now. They're available, they're tested, they're certified, and they can help us make sure the water that we're drinking to improve our health span is safe and healthy for us to be drinking. One of the things that I absolutely love is when our episodes start to overlap for me, unless <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. We've talked about hydration in other episodes and how mm -hmm. it impacts the various things we learned about there. So Jeff, I'd love to hear what is the role of hydration, clean hydration, clean water uh, in other areas of our health span? Hydration is really helpful for a few of your bodily functions. Um, you mentioned stretching, your mobility, your joints, the hi proper hydration adds to that. It increases our mobility. Uh, your brain function is tied to hydration. Um, I know one of my kids, she's notorious for not drinking much water. And guess what? She gets comes home from school and she's got a little headache. Hey, how much water do you have today? None. I forgot my water bottle. One of the things I think about is, as I think about my own health span, I'm going to be 60 here in a few months and it's, you know, more and more on my mind. And I find that my digestion is so much better when I make sure I'm hydrated. Uh, and as I get older, I notice these things more and more. But that's a big one for me is improved digestion. We need to drink more water than we are. We want to make sure that the water you're drinking is clean so you're not adding contaminants over time. Lack of hydration uh, can have very immediate effects 
All right. So we know we need to keep hydrating with good, clean water, right? And Rick, earlier you mentioned that um, there are there are things available to us to help us with this, to make sure that we're drinking clean water. There are different filtration methods. Um, can you describe some of those and, and maybe um, tell us a little bit about practically how they work to improve our drinking water? Yeah, absolutely, Alyssa. Great question. And, you know, first I could just say that in the U.S. we're very fortunate to have one of the safest public water supplies in the world. Uh, but for those of us who do want to improve the quality of our water, we have a number of different technologies available. Uh, we could use ultraviolet that uh, kills microorganisms and can eliminate them from our water. We could use reverse osmosis that separates clean drinking water from a contaminated waste stream that gets flushed down the drain. I'm thinking about activated carbon, Jeff, if you want to maybe uh, take it from there with activated carbon. Sure. Uh, activated carbon is a great technology because it uses a couple different mechanisms to take contaminants out, like physically trapping any contaminants as they flow by so they don't continue down. Um, it uses chemical processes to, tra to attract some of the molecules that are in there. So Anything that's dissolved into the water is it's really good at taking them out. Um, now, many water treatment systems combine, say, carbon and UV or reverse osmosis and then carbon and then maybe another uh, technology. So depending on the system, sometimes these technologies are paired together because they all have their pros and their cons. Um, and so the, you, you want an entire system that works for what you need. Okay. So speaking of what I need, as you're talking, I go, this is really interesting and I love learning this, but what do I do? do about this? How, which, which one do I maybe purchase if I'm, if I'm privileged enough to be able to afford that? How, is that the wrong way to think about this in terms of which are best? Help me out here. Yeah, it's a great question. And it's unfortunately not a one size fits all environment. You need to think about your own drinking water and what are your needs for treating that drinking water. And then you can look for certified treatment systems that are certified to treat any contaminants that you're concerned about. You can go to NSF Dot org and get a complete listing of the technologies and the contaminants that they're certified for to help make that decision process a little bit easier. Okay, I love that. That, that seems like something very actionable I can do, but I want to kind of push one step further. I'm thinking about my faucet and my kitchen. Is there a way I can test my water at home? So a great way to answer that question is to rely on the municipality that is providing the water to you. Um, they have information that's publicly available for what contaminants are coming in, what things they treat, and what their outgoing water report is. Uh, and if they don't send you a report on a regular basis, that's something that you can also request them to send you, and they will give you what's in your water that they all uh, that they test for. Got it. Okay, wonderful. Well, Alyssa, added to that great chorus of teachers who are whispering in my ears <laughs> things that I should maybe be doing in my health span journey. I think a little bit of research has been added to the to-do list. All right. More voices in your head, John. <laughs> oh, they're all health span oriented, okay. I assure well, you. Well, if if, in that case, keep listening because this is good advice. Yeah. All right. So I'm, I'm curious a little bit, Rick, can you speak a little bit more about, like we've learned what NSF has discovered already. W what's coming next? Are there more uh, innovations or breakthroughs that, that we can be excited to hear about? Yeah, absolutely. So NSF, through its Joint Committee on Drinking Water Treatment Units, stays abreast of what's happening with discovery of new contaminants and monitoring for new contaminants. They keep in tune with what's happening with technologies for water treatment so that they're up to date on that. And they're using all of this information to develop the standards so they continue to be relevant in the future. One of the big things that's happening is we were talking about PFAS. Um, there's a lot more data coming with PFAS being detected now in the drinking water with technologies that are capable of treating PFAS. And so there's going to be some changes coming to the standard so that it's even more comprehensive in making sure that uh, the devices we're using in our houses are capable of uh, treating PFAS. Similarly, at Amway, we're doing research into the effects of hydration and health span and these contaminants that are found in water and the health span. Uh, John, like at the beginning, you mentioned how everything kind of overlaps together. Uh, Amway continues to look at how all those things play together so we can talk about 
the water, uh, healthy hydration, as well as your healthy gut, healthy skin, all these things play a role together in your entire body system. Amazing. Thank you so much, Jeff. We are getting close to the end of the episode, so we're getting to that part that I know you love, Alyssa, those simple, practical It's true. Tips. I need the bite size. We like to leave with our listeners having two or three practical things that they can do um, that's not going to be overwhelming, kind of taking the science and making it into the practical every day. Rick, can we start with you and just give us a couple practical things that if, if we could walk away with a couple things to do, what, what would you say to that? Yeah, I think the first one is when we think about our health span, we think about hydration. So keep hydrating. And for those of us who are interested, we can use a certified water treatment device to make sure our drinking water is the best possible quality. Look for the NSF mark. Okay. All right. That's great. Jeff, how about you? Sure. And I would add to that, make sure that you are using the, a water treatment system that uh, is right at the tap where you're collecting your water to drink. Uh, like we talked about the contaminants, some of them can show up from pipes in your home. So make sure the water going into your drinking uh, cup or whatever is coming from that water treatment system. And make sure you're putting, you put all your effort into a filtration system. Make sure you're putting it into a clean glass that is safe and intended for drinking water and not made of materials that are going to put those contaminants right back into it. That's great. I'm thinking of my children who will come home with water bottles that definitely need to be clean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm familiar with that. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, Jeff, Rick, thank you so much for coming in today and sharing all of your wisdom with us. I think I speak for both of us when I say I've learned a lot and I'm very grateful for your time. Mm -hmm. So let's, hey, let's raise a glass to the two of you for joining us. Cheers. All right, I'll drink to that. And cheers to you at home for listening in. Thank you for joining us. Please make sure to follow and like us on Instagram and Facebook. Subscribe on YouTube and we'll see you next time. Go drink that water.